Viewers, welcome to the Grand Pacific Hotel. And today, we'll be showing you some various cooking skills in terms of vegetarian food. And please let me welcome you all the way from India, our chef, Prajit. Welcome, Prajit. Thank you very much, sir. And Prajit, please introduce yourself and your assistant. Thank you. Hi, my name is Prajit. I work for the Ashok Group of Hotels in India. And his name is uh, Mr. Kedar Singh Rawat. He also works for the same group, he's my colleague. We both have come from India for the food festival which is happening in Grand Pacific Hotel. This has been organized by the Indian Embassy in Fiji. And uh, we are very blessed to have this uh, opportunity to come over here. And we don't feel that we are uh, in Fiji, actually. We feel that we are in India, actually. Being uh, like a lot of Indians are here, the language they speak is Hindi, like mix of Urdu. And uh, it's like pretty good experience coming over here for uh, organize, the food festival organized by Embassy. Okay, thank you very much. Well, that's a good endorsement for Fiji. Now, you're from Delhi. Exactly. So, uh, tell me three things about Delhi, so the viewers can know a little, little insight about Delhi itself. Delhi, uh, what we say, is the capital of India. Right. A uh, lot of like, a very rush area where you won't even know the, the how the, your day went. But it's very hosh posh. And the nice thing about India, Delhi is uh, the monuments over there, where you, you have a lot of place to roam around. And so it's very historical. It's very historical. And, exactly. uh, and I, but, uh, what is the population of Delhi? Delhi, it would be around 1.5 crore. Crore, gosh. Crore. I, I, I can't tell you what that is, but uh, it, it sounds like an awful, awful lot of people. Yeah, obviously. I saw the, I saw like uh, in Fiji, it is somewhere around like 10 lakh people, right. people over here. Sorry. Uh, and uh, what I feel like Delhi is very crowded. Like when we arrived in Nandi, uh, to, uh, like we were coming on the way to Suva. Like it was very nice experience, like very greenery. The population is very less. It was the road was very clean. The area is very clean. Uh, that is what we felt like. Roger, it sounds like you'd like to stay here. Obviously, the place is very calm. <laughs> very the people good. are good. Obviously, yeah. Lovely. Okay, let, let's have a look at what we're cooking today. Sure. So, what dish are we cooking today? Uh, today we are cooking pudina kebab. Okay. Pudina which... kebab is a preparation from basically cottage cheese. It's an Indian cottage cheese, flavored with mint. A lot of fresh mint. So it's a very uh, easy preparation where the whole mother can prepare for their children, their uh, husbands, their parents. It's a very simple preparation where they can prepare at home and it's very healthy as well. Okay, so that's a, veg that's veg that's a vegetarian dish and obviously vegetarian is very, very healthy. healthy. It, 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 tell me the difference between paneer and cottage cheese. Are they two different? No, uh, look, they, every uh, country have their own cottage cheeses. Like right. we prepare cottage cheese uh, like, uh, through milk. Obviously, it's, uh, every cottage is like through milk. Like our cottages, we put citric acid in it, and we uh, take all the water from that uh, this one, uh, and uh, the cottages is prepared. Right? Okay. All right. Well, let's start. Sure. Okay. Let's start with the ingredients. Yeah. So, what have we got here? Uh, we are going to prepare uh, uh, pudina kebab with uh, like the fresh grated paneer is here. Okay. Uh, fresh mint, right. some pepper, salt. Corn flour. Corn flour is for the binding and uh, for the garnishes. This is what, uh, and it will be served with mint chutney. Okay, so everything here, from what I can see, can be obtained in Fiji uh, very easily exactly. from the market. So yes. the first thing you need to know, you can obtain these uh, in Fiji from the market. So all the ingredients here, you can get, bring to your own kitchen and cook this particular dish. Roger, now tell me, you work at the yeah, Ashoka Hotel. Exactly. Uh, tell me a little bit about the hotel. What type of hotel is it? The hotel is uh, exactly located and uh, just opposite to our Prime Minister of India's house. Right, okay. So it's at a very prime location. It's a diplomatic enclave where all the embassies are uh, over there. And uh, our hotel is uh, ha having like 550 room, uh, rooms in our hotel. And uh, it's a very prime property. It's a heritage property. Uh, it's, it, has, uh, it has just completed 60 years of running. Okay, so, the hotel. so what you're trying to tell me is when I go to Delhi next, you want to invite me to stay there. Is yeah, that right? yeah, obviously, you can anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you can, anytime you can come over there. Yeah, yeah, yes, thank I'll you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. Now, let's get back to our vegetarian dish. Okay. And uh, wh what do we do next? Where do we start? Uh, Chef Kedar will uh, prepare uh, it. And uh, first of all, 
We'll take the paneer, it's a grated paneer, grated cottage cheese, which we uh, normally use for many things like we prepare paneer, kadai paneer, paneer butter masala, Indian, lot of Indian dishes are there. So we'll pre we're preparing snacks today. And then we'll add uh, fresh mint leaves to it, which, which gives a lot of flavor to it. And we'll just mix it with, we'll just add some pepper to it, white pepper powder. That's to add a little bit of spice, is it? The pepper. Yeah, just for a uh, uh, just a little spicy, okay. not that spicy, because as such, paneer doesn't have any flavor. It's it's very blunt. The mint gives it gives flavor to it. The mint gives flavors to flavor to it, and uh, salt will enhance that flavor. The mint, uh, the flavors of the mint will come into your mouth, and it's very mouth watering. It's very melt uh, melting snacks. Mouth. We add some corn flour to it so as to bind it, because paneer is very uh, soft so when it goes on hot heat it uh, even melts so so as to bind we require some corn flour to bind it so this corn flour acts as a gel almost holds it together exactly it holds right. that paneer yeah. it holds that cottage cheese okay. so that it doesn't break is it uh, is, is this corn flour used uh, always when you cook with paneer uh, no no no, no. Oh, it's on depending on the recipe like if okay. you're preparing some gravy items we doesn't use okay. if, right. just for snacks we are uh, adding corn flour okay He looks like a man with strong hands. Yeah, yeah. Right. he's got experience everything. of yeah. 30 years. Oh, well, the industry. And he also works with you in the hotel? Uh, he work works together? with uh, the group, uh, the, the, our own group. Right. It's got some Samrat Hotel. It's just besides our hotel. It's okay. adjoining. It's a part of our hotel. Right, okay. Okay, that's looking good now. So the, how long do you need this for? Is it about five minutes? Like yeah, that? that's all. Because uh, as soon as the ingredients are ready, the cooking time is like just five minutes. We okay. just have to color it. As soon as it heats, the uh, golden color will come. And after that, we can. it's ready to serve. I know I noticed it's been very strong with it. Not, not, not lightly, it's kneading it very strongly. Yeah. Right. It's, uh, okay, right, here we are. Then after that's that, it. we'll make uh, balls of the cutlet type shapes out of it. Right, okay. Uh, so as to grill it. And this is for the frying, is it? Exactly. We'll do shallow frying. Okay. Shallow frying. Okay. That was uh, fairly easy. Is there more to add to the ingredients? Uh, no, that's all. That's it. That's okay. All. All right. And the you others can are add, for garnishing. Uh, if you it? want, like, if you want really spicy, you can add some green, green chilies to it. Green chilies, very finely chopped green chili, so that the flavor, the chili flavor, comes to it. So otherwise, we normally add uh, pepper. And I see we've probably got more garnishing than we do the actual, um, the actual. Um, uh, this particular, the, the, need, the, the need in the binding part is quite easy, but then uh, what is this? This, one this is the Fill accompaniment it. to it. Like and, that, it's, and that goes on the side, does side, it? Side, exactly. Yeah. And this one? This is for the garnish. Right. All, all these four are for the garnish then? Exactly. Okay, all right. Okay. Viewers, just a quick recap. What, uh, what we have here, we've got the uh, paneer, obviously, and then to that, they've, they've infused the mint, fresh mint. All right, then once we've done that, they've put a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and then they've kneaded it together with the corn flour. Yeah, once they've kneaded it after five minutes, this is where you are. Rajit, um, I'd just like to tell the viewers, now this is a very, very simple dish to make. Exactly. And in preparation time and, and frying, what, maybe 15 minutes? Yeah, 15, 20 minutes, and the pre-preparation is ready. Okay, all right, that sounds good. Now, I wasn't sure, is it deep fried, pan fried, or shallow fried? What it's, a, it's a pan fried, like very less oil, it's just, uh, just a pan fried. We have to sear it, and just as soon as the brown color, the golden color comes, yeah. we just have to remove and, it. Make and sure it is it is hot. And just so the viewers know, generally, generally speaking, how long before it, it, it goes to that brown color, before it gets sort of too dark? Uh, like it will take uh, three four minutes to get cooked at a lower flame. They make sure it should be on a lower flame because it is paneer, and uh, it gets break very fast. So it should be cooked on a very low flame, uh, in oil, a uh, little pan sear. Viewers, remember what he said: low flame, three to four minutes. I know we all get excited, even myself. I put it on full 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 flame, and in then two minutes it's all burnt. It's so burnt. low flame, three exactly. to four minutes. Let it cook nicely yes. and, and turn over turn once? Up. Yes. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Once. Well, let's go. Let's have a go. Sure. Sure. Uh, we just have to pour some oil into it. A little oil. 
As soon as the oil is little uh, like heated up, then we'll place the pudina kebab onto it. I'm very impressed. That you're using very, very little oil. Is that right? Just Sorry? a tiny bit of the oil you use. Very little oil. Yeah, so remember that, viewers. Very little oil, low flame, three to four minutes. Now you can't see the flame, you can't, sorry, you can't see the, obviously, the underneath of, of this dish. How do you know when it's time to turn over? Uh, it's uh, like, it's experience basically, yeah? okay. yes. Okay. You just have to like, assumption, like, you should know, like, well, how, I think we have so many years of experience. As soon as the flame increases, we know what time it will get cooked. Right, okay. At the low, low flame, we know the what time it will get cooked. But still, uh, you can always uh, just see just, yeah. uh, when it is cooked. Like that, just like. quickly turn it over. It cooks very quickly, doesn't it? Exactly. I, I, I was uh, surprised. Like three, three to four minutes, the total cooking. Right. But make sure it is like the, the, the heat is uh, hit went till inside. Like. Okay. It should be cooked cook from inside. Okay. Like, it's now very good golden color. Yes. I'm surprised uh, with, the, with, the, with the amount of ingredients used for this particular dish. I'm impressed because it literally, what, four or five ingredients? Yeah, in it, that's it's all. It's all done. That's all. And uh, what's more impressive for me is the fact that you can get all the ingredients, ingredients in, Fiji. in Fiji. No problem at all. No problem. Some of the dishes I, I, I watch on TV and they make is a little bit disheartening because some of the ingredients are, are ingredients that you have to go to specialist shops exactly. to get. And uh, here, this is something that can be brought from the market or, yes. or, or go to a shop to purchase the paneer yes. and made at home, like you say, in 10, 10 15, 20 minutes, and yeah, you're all that's done. All, all done. Yeah, this is a very practical dish, yes. Pils, and uh, something which is very healthy and something I encourage all your family to try because it's easy to make. Exactly. So how are we doing at the moment? It's, it's now a little golden color. Yeah. Now we can remove it. Okay. It's ready to serve with, uh, accompanied with mint chutney. Lovely. Okay, let, let, well, let's plate it. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, what's this sauce? Tell me about this This sauce. is called mint chutney. Mint chutney. It's, it's basically prepared with... Mint, obviously, and? It's mint, hung curd, chaat masala, lemon juice, and uh, the main ingredients are this. You can, and you have to add coriander to it as well, while, while uh, blending mint. So it's a very flavorful mint flavor chutney, which is mostly used as uh, accompaniment for all the sauces for all the Indian kebabs. Okay, now we're gonna garnish it. This is uh, fresh coriander. This is fresh coriander. Okay. And this one? This is actually turnip. We normally just for use that as, as a garnish. Okay, is that called uh, horseradish also? No, is it's it not horse, no? horseradish. Oh. We as well use some lemon wedges for any accompaniment. We normally use right. lemon wedges. Okay. Right. And there you are. Well, well done. It's a very yummy yeah. preparation yes. where people can make at home for the evening yeah. snacks right. or uh, for the lunch as well as accompaniment for your food. Okay. But it's basically have as a snacks. It's an appetizer basically. And made with cottage. It's a very re simple recipe for all mothers, sisters, family. Uh, the children will be very happy with it. Well, look, I'd like, just like to thank you very much. Thank you very uh, much. Sir. On behalf of the Grand Pacific Hotel as well, where, where we are today. Yes. And uh, I have to tell you, I was a little bit worried okay. that the preparation for this particular dish might take half an hour, an hour. But okay. uh, just looking at the simple ingredients that, that, that has been used, uh, like I said, all can be found in the market, number one. Number two, it's not expensive. It's not expensive. Yeah. And number three, it's a yummy dish, very healthy. But the most important question I have for you. Yeah, please. I have been very nice to you. Okay. I hope I have. Yes. Uh, do I get a chance to taste it? 100% you can have. Please try it, sir. Okay, thank I'm you very much. Okay. okay. Very nice. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations, sir. Very nice. Well, thank you. It's got a very nice mint flavor. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And the, and, the, and the most important thing for me, healthy, nutritious, yes. easy to find the ingredients. Exactly. And cooking time, as we know, 
Time is time is very sacred nowadays. Time's so within half an hour, 20 minutes, it's all done. It's all done. So remember, if you have young children or or um, you're just cooking for just two or three of you, it's a, it's a beautiful dish to cook and enjoy your cooking for 15, 20 minutes. Enjoy your cooking. Uh, obviously, you can get the ingredients uh, Fiji wide, and uh, and once again, nutritious. That's the main thing. And thank you very much for visiting Fiji. Thank you. And I know much. you'll be here for a few more days. Exactly. For the uh, food festival. Yes. And uh, please enjoy your visit to Fiji. And if we can be of any help at all, just let us know. Sure. Okay. Thank, you you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.